Hi, this is Kevin Westerling, editor for Water Online. I'm reporting live from WEF Tech 2012. I'm here with Jorn Eliasson. He is the regional sales manager for Salsness Filter. Jorn, can you tell me a little bit about your system and the applications for it? Thank you. Um, the Salsness Filter uh, has been around for 20 years, since 1991. Uh, we are based out of Norway, and just uh, this uh, New Year's, we uh, was required or bought by Trojan Technologies. Uh, so we're now a part of the uh, Trojan family. Um, the Solstice filter is a uh, uh, replacing a clarifier. So uh, it is a mechanical clarifier, and this is very important. Um, we have separation, thickening, and dewatering in one step. Uh, the applications for a Salsness filter are many. It's very flexible. Uh, for municipal wastewater it's uh, typically all kinds of primary treatment but uh, since we also have thickening and dewatering uh, integrated we also work with uh, thickening of sludge, dewatering of sludge. Um, for uh, retrofits and, and um, upgrades of, of treatment plants uh, we can go in and replace primary clarifiers um, and upgrade uh, the capacity of existing plants. Um, we also do a lot of industrial applications um, like fish farming, uh, pulp and paper. Uh, we also do tanneries, food processing, beverage processing and so on. Basically, if you have particles in water and you need to remove them, give us a call. You mentioned the integration of three processes, solid separation, sludge thickening, and dewatering. What benefits does this bring to a wastewater treatment plant? Well, when you have integrated uh, separation, thickening, and dewatering, you will, of course, have less need of equipment, meaning uh, you don't need to have a, a separate thickener, you don't have to have a separate dewatering system, so you need less equipment, meaning you have a less um, uh, cost on investment. Uh, also, um, by using a Salsness filter, you have a much higher TSS reduction, BOD reduction, meaning this influences your downstream uh, technologies, uh, so you can downsize your secondary treatment, less need of oxygen for uh, biological steps. So, uh, all in all, uh, the Salsness filter is a much uh, less cost um, system than a, a conventional primary clarifier system. Thanks, Jorn. Can you give us a quick overview of how the technology works? Absolutely. Um, on this end, we have the inlet, where your implant comes into uh, the unit. We also have an, um, an uh, emergency overflow on this end. And what happens inside the machine is the water will start to plug the mesh. So the particles that are larger than the mesh opening will plug the mesh. These particles will then start catching smaller and smaller particles. So you will have a buildup of sludge on the filter mesh. Now, this is very important because it's the particles that are doing the filtration for you, not the mesh. The mesh is the carrier for these, uh, this sludge layer that's doing the, the separation for you. Eventually, the mesh will be completely plugged so the water will start to rise inside the machine. When it hits a certain level, which is measured by a level sensor, the belt will start automatically. From the bottom, you will have clean mesh coming up, and this process of building up that sludge layer is a continuous process. Now, we can move over to this end. This area we call the thickening stage. So the sludge coming off, off the water will now start, the water will drip off. So the, the sludge coming into the sludge bin has a typical uh, uh, TSS um, count of about uh, four to six percent dry solids. Uh, not all the particles will fall off by gravity, so we have to clean the mesh. To clean the mesh, we have a patented technology using an air blower. We use, introduce the air with an air knife, which backwashes the filter mesh with air. It's very, very effective, and 
you also don't want to use water because if you use water you will dilute your sludge now back here we also have a uh, hot water spray the hot water spray is for fat oil and grease uh, we typically for municipal wastewater use that spray for two to three times a day and it's very little water used uh, for every flush the sludge that comes into the bin are not transported by an auger so basically we have an integrated uh, dewatering screw press on this end we have a dewatering unit which contains of a um, wedge wire screen and a tension lid as the sludge comes into the dewatering unit it gets compressed and the water is uh, pressed out from the sludge when the tension is big enough the pressure inside is big enough the lid will open and the sludge comes out at typically 20 to 30 percent dry solids and Jorn, why is footprint so important for this system? Well, can you imagine if you have a big city with a wastewater treatment plant and the city is growing and the treatment plant has no land to expand? What could you do? Do you have to tear down homes, businesses, roads to require the land that you need to expand? That's very, very expensive. By using the Salsness filter system, which requires less than 10% of the footprint of a conventional clarifier. You can use the uh, land that you already have in your existing plant, use the uh, Salsness to uh, take over the primary treatment, retrofit your, your existing clarifiers into secondary treatment, and you can increase the capacity of your existing wastewater treatment plant by over 50%. Excellent information. Thanks for your time today, Ewan. Thank you very much.